Categories and tags are really important thing if you want to grow your website SEO. You should know how to properly use categories and tags. In WordPress or any system, to the post you can assign categories and tags. By default in WordPress, you have predefined uncategorized category. So if you haven't added a category on your website, all the posts will be assigned to uncategorized category. Okay, so let's understand what are categories. Let's take example of news or blog website. So categories are the broader topics which exist on your website. Or you can see if your news website, by categories you can divide the blog post in broader topics. For example, politics, a totally different topic, technology, entertainment, health and sport. They are really big broad topics and under them you can add different kind of posts. Now you must be thinking what are tags. So if we subdivide these categories, they should be tags. But no, to subdivide under these categories, you have subcategories. Let me give you an example of subcategories. So you can see here politics, the subcategories can be election updates, foreign policy, technology, subcategories can be artificial intelligence and cyber security, entertainment, movie reviews and celebrity news, health, fitness, mental health, sports, football, basketball. So you can see the category is politics. So all the posts related to politics will be assigned to this category. And you can also further assign subcategories. For example, if a blog post related to election update, you can assign this subcategory to that blog post. Same thing we can do with health category. So if you have a blog post related to health, you can assign a subcategory fitness to the blog post or mental health if that post is related to mental health. In WordPress, if we click on categories and then you can add a category here. For example, we can say health and then if I create add new category, you can see a category is created. To create a subcategory, add the subcategory name here and then slug also you can give same. And now from here you can choose parent category. So if I choose health and then if I click on add new category, you can see here this is on second level. So the parent category is health and this is subcategory mental wellness. So if we assign a blog post mental wellness, it will automatically assign under health category and the subcategory will be mental wellness. Okay, so you understand what are the categories and subcategories. Let's see what are tags. Just keep in your mind that categories, they are used to differentiate the broader topics on your website or your blog. Where tags on the other hand are used to add more specific detail to individual posts. They provide a way to highlight keywords or topics within a broader categories. So as we know, we use categories to differentiate the posts. For example, we differentiate politics from technology or we differentiate entertainment from health posts by giving them different categories. But tags is something which make things common between categories or it is possible tags can make something common between the subcategories. Okay, so let's understand tags from this visual. So we can see we already discussed the politics categories and where the subcategories are election updates and foreign policy. And as I said, by tags, we combine or join or connect the different post with one tag. For example, if we use a tag election 2024, it's possible that different posts in election updates and in foreign policy have the same interest. So what we can do, we can add election 2024 tag to different blog posts which can be for different subcategories or different categories but because they have same thing which is election 2024 so we can add that tag to different posts to join them or you can say combine them for example in technology categories you have one blog post which is under subcategory or you can say categories just do not take too much trouble about subcategories just think that we are talking about categories so for example the two different blog posts in technology categories one is basically talking about artificial intelligence and other is talking about cyber security. But for example, they're both trending topics. So what we can do, we can add tag, tag trends to two different posts and they both can be joined using the tags. Not joined, but yes, they can be connected. Same thing can happen in entertainment category. For example, movie review is subcategory and celebrity news is another subcategory. We can add tag interviews in every post where the interview was taken. Maybe it can be a interview about movie reviews or is a celebrity news where some celebrity was being interviewed. So you can see here what we are doing category are the way to divide the blog posts, differentiate between them. But tags are the way to connect the different blog posts. And also one interesting things here, we can use this tag to combine posts from any different kind of categories. For example, it was easier for me to just write tags here in front of subcategories so you can understand easily. But for example, there is a live voting tag and the voting can be happen 
for example a election update and also for example if there is a poll on fitness category you have poll and people are voting there you can also add live voting tag there not the best example but you understand tags are not dependent on any category you can use them anywhere just to bring the related posts together same thing with sports you can see we have subcategory football and basketball we can add a live score tag which can cover different kind of sports and also sports analysis tag we should cover different kind of sports. Now let's see how you can assign tags and category to a blog post. One small thing guys before we move forward. I really appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. These videos take a lot of time to create. And I really appreciate if you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And share this video with somebody who want to learn these kind of amazing tips and tricks. Okay, let's go back to the video. Now let's see how you can assign tags and category to a blog post. For example, I have all these blog posts on my website and I do not have any category or tags on my website. So what I need to do is I just click on edit on my blog post and on the right side you find this option summary and then you have categories and tags. Ignore the table tags, it is added by a plugin, it will not exist on your website. So if I hover on categories here, for example this, this blog post talk about exclude by no index tag error in search console. So what I can do, I can click on add new category and then I can give it name SEO. So that can be a main category because we are talking about SEO and when I click on add category you can see the categories that did but I have different posts in this category for example this blog post talk about Google search console so I can create a subcategory search console and here from parent category I can choose SEO and then add new category and you can see this is selected here I will choose uncategorized because by default all the blog posts in WordPress are assigned to uncategorized so this is how we assign categories to a blog post now let's talk about tags for example this is an educational blog post and I have another educational blog post on my website which also talk about teaching something technical. So what I can say, I will add a new tag which will say education, educational and then I will click enter. So educational tag is added here. And what can I do? And if I pick up another blog post from my website, for example this one, I click on edit and you can see this talk about default STXS file for WordPress. So I cannot use SEO categories here. This is a different blog post. It doesn't talk about SEO search console. but I can assign a new category to is for example I click on new category for example I can say programming so I can assign programming category to this one and again I will uncheck and categorize because this default added by WordPress okay so you see this blog post talk about programming and this blog post we discussed before it talk about SEO search console but this is an education blog post and this one also education blog post so what we did here we divided this blog post by the categories programming and SEO but now we use tag to combine this blog post because they both are education blog posts. So as we give here tag educational, we can give same tag to this blog post also. So I'll scroll the page and I'll, and you can see we have this tag added here. And once done, you can click on update. So this tags and categories will be assigned to this particular blog post. I'll update other blog posts also. If I go to the website now, you can see these two blog posts, we assigned category and tags. If I open both of these, a new tab, so you can see here we have this subcategory and category for example if I click on this subcategory or you can see category all the blog posts under this category is shown here so I have just one blog post here so that's why we are seeing this one blog post here and this is the second one you can see it's programming category if I click on programming so that's why only the programming category is showing here but if you add tags on sidebar on your website for example you can use them to display anywhere I have not added the tags on my website front end but but I can go on back end and show you how it works. So for example, if I go on to tags and I have this educational tag, if I click on view, then we come to this tag page. So the tag is education and on the blog post under this tag will be shown here. So you can see this is the first blog post, this is the second blog post. They both exist in different categories or you can say subcategories, but they are joined or combined using the same tag. If this content helped you out, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to watch this amazing video on screen which will explain you more about WordPress.